Okay, so I'm going to try and explain the difference between an open and a torsion style differential. On the right you can see an open, on the left you can see the torsion. So, take a right, you take an open differential and you turn the drive shaft and the differential drives. Drives the uh, piece of machinery that you've got. You can also see that in a turn, one wheel is turning more than the other while the thing is still driving. So that's what a differential is supposed to do, equilibrate between the two drive wheels. The issue comes up that you can take one drive wheel and the other drive wheel and turn them in opposite directions and see the gears, the bevel gears in the center of the differential carrier moving, which is what it's supposed to do. Also, if you turn one wheel, the other wheel turns, which is what you see in a car if you lift both front wheels or both rear wheels depending on front or rear wheel drive. So. The problem with that is, the issue that's a, that that runs into is that you can spin one wheel if you apply too much torque. So you can just see that this one wheel is just spinning away and the other wheel is just barely moving. Torsen differential. This is actually a torsen style differential, I'm told. And you can see that it's got a lot of take up, but again, when I turn it, it moves the way you would expect it to. When it goes into a turn, it does the same thing. You can see the one wheel is turning more rapidly than the other wheel. Do, 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 like that. So, the interesting thing about it is, I can take one wheel and turn it in one direction, the other wheel and turn it in the other direction. I can do this for as long as I want. And it will just sit here and allow me to do this, but if I take one wheel and I turn it, and I hold on to the gearing, the other wheel will not turn in the opposite direction. It just freezes. The result is that once I take out the uh, slack in the system, I can lift one wheel and you can see the other wheel is still turning even though the one wheel is up in the air. That's because when you get to this particular point, turn around here so you can see the actual mechanism. As I turn this wheel, you can see the pinion gears start to move. So. This worm turns this pinion, this pinion turns this pinion, this pinion cannot turn this worm because a pinion can't turn a worm. That is the fundamental way that a torsion differential works.